On behalf of the City of Altamont Springs, welcome to the Regional Water Reclamation Facility. We are here to celebrate a new technology and to tell you about the transformative work being done here. This new technology transforms harmful algae and wastewater biosolids into a fuel. And in Florida and nationally, this can be a real game changer. Working together, we are finding ways to remove and reuse the algae that damages our waterways and creates new ways to use wastewater byproducts. We are so excited to be a part of this and help lead the way into the future. We want to thank our partners, AECOM and Jenny Fuel, for the opportunity to be the first city in Florida to host this groundbreaking technology. We are so excited to work with these prestigious innovators as we discover clean and sustainable solutions for the future. You know, the support of the governor and the, and the legislature and, and DEP and being able to make these grants available to test out these innovative technologies that otherwise might not have the opportunity to be developed. It's going to take processes like this for us to overcome um, the issues that we have in our waterways and make them, make them the way they were historically so that people can continue to want to come to Florida and enjoy the beautiful natural resources that we have. The legislature has been able to fund this program over the last three years at $10 million each year and this past session an additional $15 million. With those funds we've been able to enter into grant programs with a number of organizations, uh, particularly with AECOM. We've been able to fund two projects already, one on Lake Jessup and one on Lake Munson using their algae harvester and water quality uh, nutrient reduction technologies. We've started getting those preliminary results, seeing over 70% phosphorus removal from the water that those technologies are employing. So we are the second step in this process. The first step is cleaning the water and collecting the algae. Now we have to do something with that algae. We could just waste it, but that wouldn't be a good thing. Instead, we're going to turn it into renewable energy. It's a process of using pressure and water and a, in a very short time, 30 minutes, to convert that into petroleum renewable crude oil and natural gas. The natural gas can go into a pipeline, the renewable crude can go to a refinery, and they're used just like the fossil equivalents, and they replace those fossil fuels. When we look at the amount of people in our planet, in our state, we're going to continue to generate more and more biosolids. This plant runs 24 hours a day, seven days, every single week, and it's going to get bigger because our population in our state is growing. So we have to find new ways to deal with this biomass. We're looking at biosolids as not as a problem, but now it's a source because there's carbon in those biosolids. And if we can take that carbon and transform it into an energy source, we are now on the path to sustainability, and we need everything and everybody working jointly together to solve this problem. Nature turns this whole process into fossil fuels in millions of years. What Altamont Springs, AECOM, and Gen Fuels are doing right now is doing the same process in 30 minutes. Think about it, one of these days, we're gonna say, well, we need more algae. You gotta get turn that into fuel. That day's come, and uh, but it, I think we're lighting the fuse right here today on the, the technology. We're thankful again for all the partners, and hopefully the next generation will reap the benefits of this technology as technology continues. So we thank you all very much, and we appreciate you being here.